Hey guys, what's going on? Joshua Elder here and welcome back to yet another video. In this video today, we're going to talk about how to make passive income with affiliate marketing. And if you're brand new to the channel, make sure that you slam that subscribe button because right now I'm teaching you how to build a life and business full of freedom, passion, and fulfillment and freedom being a part of passive income, right? If we want freedom in our life, we want to be able to make money while we're sleeping, while we're at the beach, while we're at the mall, while we're on a vacation, right? We don't want to trade time for money and we're going to show you how to do that inside this video. So make sure to slam the subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a thumbs up because I'm going to shoot you straight with some value right here, right now. Got a little bit of a different view here um, on screen and also in my office. Still get, you know, in the process of getting everything set up. Just moved into a brand new house and this is one of my offices here in the house. So with that said, I've got a little doodle board here and we're going to talk about businesses, affiliate marketing businesses that fail and affiliate marketing businesses that succeed and have true passive income. So, you know, let's brainstorm a few elements that you're going to need in your online business to tr create true passive income. Okay. Number one being traffic, right? Being eyeballs to your website. That's number one, right? Number one is in fact traffic. And most of you guys that are on this channel should know uh, what traffic is. Traffic is simply driving website visitors to a website, right? We need people. We need eyeballs going to a website on the internet. If we don't, we can't make any sales. We can't bring in any revenue inside of our business. So number one, the biggest thing is traffic. And with each method out there, right, you've got Facebook, free traffic, Facebook ads, you've got forum posting, you've got SEO, you've got video marketing, you've got Instagram marketing. What we want to do is we want to look at each of these strategies and figure out which strategy is going to give us the most leverage. In other words, which strategy can we put the least amount of effort and get the biggest ROI long term from? Okay, so under traffic, we'll go ahead and switch to uh, the blue pen here. We'll talk about a few elements of traffic, okay? Uh, we'll talk about a few different sources. So we have, number one, we have Facebook. We'll just put FB. And then we also have Facebook paid, right? I'm still learning how to use this thing. It's kind of crazy, especially it's hard with a mouse. We have Facebook paid, okay? We also have SEO. Google SEO, and then we have Google AdWords. I guess we could call it uh, AdWords, PPC, you know, YouTube PPC, Bing PPC, right? And we also have Instagram, and you know, there's a few others out there, but I really wanna talk about the big three today, okay? Which is Facebook, you know, Google slash YouTube, and Instagram. Now. Out of each of these strategies, out of each of these traffic sources, which which are going to give us the biggest return on our time, right? There's You're either paying with your time to create passive income or you're paying with your money to create passive income. And it really depends on which boat you're in. Are you somebody that has a lot of money that can leverage your time by trading money for time, by investing, obviously, money? into an ad campaign and have you know traffic sent to your website instantaneously or are you somebody that doesn't have a lot of money but's willing to put in some consistent work highly leveraged work on a consistent basis therefore you know SEO ranking websites in Google or doing video marketing YouTube marketing specifically ranking videos you know inside of YouTube getting exposure to those videos that would be considered something that you would leverage with your time if you didn't have a lot of money. Again, if you have a lot of money, then you can leverage something like Facebook ads here or you can leverage Google PPC. Paid traffic is gonna be fast traffic. Free traffic is going to be slower traffic. So this would be fast traffic, FT for fast traffic. And then something like SEO is going to be Obviously, slower traffic, but it's going to be highly leveraged traffic, okay? It's going to be slower traffic, but it's going to be highly leveraged, and it's going to snowball over time, and it might take some time. It might take a few months 
of you consistently posting content, consistently posting you know videos, uh, consistently putting value out there before you're going to see the fruits of your labor. But when you see the fruits of your labor, labor, you nearly see those fruits almost overnight, right? The same with Instagram. Instagram is also a highly leveraged traffic source, but it's also slow traffic, okay? You're looking about 60 to 90 days before you really start seeing some momentum. And recently, you know, I made a video where I showed people the inside of my YouTube account and between April 15th and now, all of a sudden, you can just see this big curve. My, my YouTube channel just took off because it was from that previous 30 days of consistently posting every single day. And so it can happen uh, faster than even 90 days and even 60 days. It can happen for you within 30 days. But traffic, I think, is often you know, underrated because people are so focused on building funnels and selecting a product that they never get this, this formula in place. They never really think about their business. Like, how do I b- wanna build my business? Which traffic sources are gonna give me the most leverage? Because when it comes to SEO and ranking websites, when you know how to play Google's game and you know how to keep up with their algorithm, which is pretty much just posting quality content, it's actually very easy. Um, to rank your videos and wake, rank your websites you know, forever. You've got to make sure you understand the platform. Don't do any black hat, shortcut stuff. You know, I've, I've done that before and it, it didn't work out. You want to make sure that you're, you're going for long-term strategies. Because I see a lot of people in the YouTube comments, well, what if the algorithm changes, Josh? Well, if you're not doing black hat strategies, you're going to be just fine. So if you're doing free strategies, it's slow traffic, but it's long-term, you're trading time for money, right? But once you have traffic coming in, like right now I get between, you know, it ranges from 60 leads a day all the way up to 130 leads a day inside my business. And these are free leads because of the work that I put in, you know, in the past, you know, 60 to 90 days. And the same thing's gonna work for you is once you put in that work, you see all the fruits of the labor come to you all at once. Because typically with, with, with paid traffic, you're gonna be paying, guys. You're gonna be paying, you know, especially like with Facebook ads and Google PPC and even Instagram has a paid uh, ad platform too as well. You're gonna be paying like $2 a lead, $3 a lead, sometimes $4 a lead for targeted leads. So that equates to like right around with the lead flow I'm getting, if you take $60 times two leads, uh, you know, um, or $2 per lead, then that's about $120, you know, dollars a day in ad costs if you're paying $2 a lead. And I mean, this, that's like, that's like really good. $2 a lead is really good, especially on highly targeted traffic. Even if I was to take $4 times 60, um, what is that? 240 or something like that. If I, if my math's correct, like $240, that's, that's crazy. Like saving $240 a day and you times that by 30. I mean, that's, that's a lot of money that you're saving because you're willing to put in the work for, for free traffic. But a lot of people don't want to spend the time creating content and building up a base and building up an audience and, you know, what you should be doing regardless of if you're doing free traffic or paid traffic, but a lot of people want instant gratification. They wanna see leads go into their business quickly, right? We're gonna talk about leads and we're gonna talk about you know uh, how to set up a funnel and we're gonna talk about actually what a funnel looks like. Um, but a lot of people out there, they wanna leverage paid traffic because it is fast, it is instantaneous. They can get data very, very quickly. So it's really up to you and your situation. You decide what best fits you. So with that said, let's go ahead and, and let's talk about the, the second step in uh, making passive income with affiliate marketing. The second step is having a highly leveraged sales funnel and systems, okay? <laughs> okay, and then that's, this is what this looks like, okay? When you have a highly leveraged sales funnel and systems, this is what the front end looks like. So the, the system is gonna be the back end the sales funnel is going to be the front end. And a sales funnel looks something like this, right? Very simple, a lot of you guys have seen this a million times, but it's just good to go over. 
When you send website visitors, right, you're generating traffic, the first place you wanna send them is to an opt-in page. It looks something like this, right? It's got a headline and then it has a box telling people to enter their name and email address to get access to whatever, you know, this headline saying right here, okay? And then after that, they're sent to a sales video, okay? This is just base, a basic sales page. Sometimes this is a thank you page too as well. So we'll just say that this is a thank you page right here and a couple lines of text and then maybe a video thanking them for signing up through email newsletter. And then what you can also do at the end of your video is give them a chance to be exposed to a product that you have. There would be a button right here and then you would send them to the sales video. Now if you're doing like traffic methods like blogging, which is free traffic, SEO, video marketing, you really don't need this thank you page, but it doesn't hurt to have it if you want it, okay? It's totally up to you. And then right here, you have a sales page, okay? This is the sales page. This is where you would sell whatever offer you're promoting. Obviously, somebody else's offer, okay? And you would build this funnel with the funnel software like ClickFunnels or Lead Pages or Kartra. There's tons out there. I will list my top recommendation below. Okay, so this is a sales page. You got a video here, maybe a headline up here, and then a button where somebody can buy. Okay, so that's a successful sales funnel. What most people are doing is they often send people straight, right? You got your traffic going through right here. They'll send people straight to an opt-in page. It was created by the company. It was created by the product owner. And that's what a lot of people do is you have the same people selling the same product in the same way and that's why they don't have success. And so that's why you wanna create a custom wrapper or use a custom funnel building software to create your own um, capture page and your own sales funnel sequence right here. Okay, so once people get to the sales video, what you wanna have on the back end inside of the product, right? Let's say that this is like a nice members area right here, okay? And they access the product. What you want is you want, maybe it's a series of videos right here, okay? You wanna make sure that you're promoting a product that has different income streams, symbiotic income streams on the inside that give you more chances to make more money. Okay, you see where I'm going here? So this is true passive income. You have passive income from the sale of the product itself, right? Somebody's pulled out their credit card and they bought this product. Once they get inside the members area, maybe there's some extra tools that they need to implement whatever the product teaches, right? And so they'd go through a series of videos, then under these videos, it'd have, there'd be these little links that are actually coded to you. Maybe it's tools that they need. And they, they click these links and they buy these individual products that you're promoting inside of your, you know, inside of the membership site, the affiliate membership site, and then you make more commissions from these various products. Okay, you see where I'm going here? So not only do you have leverage on the front end because you're doing like SEO strategies and you're doing YouTube strategies, because again, once a video ranks, once a website ranks, it's gonna rank for a very, very long time and you have leverage there, you have passive income there. And then on top of that, right, let's say that this is a YouTube video right here, okay, this you're, you're doing, maybe you're decided that you wanna do YouTube traffic and do video marketing. What will happen is you'll see, like if you go to one of your videos and you've signed up for the YouTube Partners Program after you get um, at least 1,000 subscribers, what you can have is advertisers that advertise on top of your videos. And every time a consumer comes to your video and that advertiser advertises on top of your videos and that consumer decides to click, right, a link over here in the video, and sometimes these pre-roll ads are like two minutes, sometimes they're 30 seconds, sometimes they're longer and they're shorter. But what'll happen is when somebody clicks, guess what, you make money there. So now you're making money on the front end from ad revenue on you know, YouTube's partnership program, partners program, and then you're making money from the sale of the product right here, right? Maybe it could be a residual, you know, $22 commissions per month that you're making on each person that signs up, right? Maybe it's like a membership that they get access to, and every time, you know, the, a month goes by, you get paid again from that same person because they're paying for membership here. 
And then maybe on the inside, you have these different income streams, right? That you're also making other income off of, okay? And I've been able to do this, guys. I have a system that I'm using right now that gives you front end money, right? Just on YouTube, that's if it's your traffic method. But then I have this system right here. And if you wanna get access to it, it's gonna be in the description below. Go ahead and click that link and it'll take you to a page where you can get access to the same system that I'm using. And I'm also doing YouTube advertising and everything's completely automated. And this shows you how to set this whole thing up from complete scratch, in complete detail. So you're not like this person, right? This newbie here, what mo most newbies are doing is they've got one sales page, right? Let's say this is a sales page and they're sending people to one product. And once somebody buys this product, guess what? They make money one time. It might be 50 bucks, but it's only one time, right? And that's, that's okay. They might be selling a hundred dollar product. They get 50, 50% 50 commission. They get 50 bucks. That's, that's good and great, but they're losing out on a lot of money without having to do any extra work. If they were leveraging YouTube and instead of sending people to something like this, they were sending people to something like this, all they would need to do is change one little part of the process and their income completely changes. And that's what happened to me in 2012. Okay, I was struggling with ClickBank products. I was promoting this way up here and then I decided to promote this way down here. And all I did was I changed the offer on the back end and my life changed. So if you wanna learn how to set all this stuff up, all you need to do is click the link below in the description. We'll see you on the next page. Hope you got value from this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. You know, like this video, comment below. If you guys had a breakthrough, please let me know. I, I know a lot of you guys uh, have been so gracious to comment below and give me good positive feedback, but I love all feedback. Please let me know in the comments below and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.